Hello, today is February 13th, 2016. Today I'm gonna do um, Psalm chapter 24 and break it down for you guys. I'm gonna do verses 1 through 10. And so I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you. As soon as I can find where it is. So it says, It's a Psalm of David, and it says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, or who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. He will receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift him up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. So, I'm going to go ahead and break it down a little bit, starting with the first couple. First of all, David starts with saying that this earth is the Lord's, and everything in it is the Lord's, and that God has founded upon it and established it. So, the meaning of this is that everything is the Lord's, so the Lord is in control of everything, even if it doesn't seem like it because he allows certain things to happen but God is in full control of this world he's in control of our circumstances so it is important that we trust in him and let him do what is best for us and then um, 3 through 6 talk, says who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and stand in this holy place that means who shall be in his presence and it's those who have clean hands and a pure heart so that's saying um, we have to have a pure heart before God. We can't do it with our works and be in God's presence. God looks at our hearts and our hearts have to be clean. And we do that by accepting Jesus into our lives. Um, not by our work. We have to um, have a relationship with God. And then he will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Because Jesus promises to make um, you righteous. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the God, face of God of Jacob. And so you will receive those blessings when you seek God out for your life. And then the last four talk about the gates lifting up to God and that God might come in. So let's set the gates in our lives so let God come in and so on our so us his glory and it says who is this king of glory the lord of hosts he is the king of glory so overall today i want to encourage you that um, to trust in god because it is everything's in his control and that you can be at peace with god um if you have a pure heart before him so until tomorrow um i'll see you guys with a um Valentine's message I'll be doing um, of encouragement, and then we'll go back to the Psalms on the 15th. Until then, hope you all have a blessed day.